okay what is up Amelets? it's me Amma Jane and Amma Jane TV as you can see I'm wearing some headset right now for a very good reason but I'll get that in a second uh yeah so we're gonna do a reaction we're gonna continue the k-pop uh, marathon and yeah so let's just make sure it's no, it's fine the volume is fine so we're gonna do is one vampire I didn't realize that this this music video was actually Japanese until now and then I have to do I have to stop pause it and just like yeah so I'll talk about the whole situation with is one I really like this group actually and yeah I hope they don't waste away all those talented young girls because they're so talented and it just they only, they're, they're only there for two years and all of this is happening so we're, I'll talk about that in a second after I finish this whole reaction so we're going to do vampire in three two one good good oh the reason why I'm wearing these headsets is to avoid copyright claims by Japan because you know Japanese Japan is really serious in in trying to terminate people's channels just for reacting so okay we're in the castle I believe she's one of the Japanese members oh there's so many cats I love it they, these keep this these cats are gorgeous Vampire. She's one of the Japanese members. I like her. What I like about this group is that they're not annoying, <laughs> in a sense, because they're doing Japanese music. Because I know half of some of the groups, some of the members, the Japanese members, are actually from the you know the super group in Japan, the AK48, which I'm not a fan of. Cause it's just, ugh. But anyway, this is not obnoxious, and I like the fact it's a bit sexy. They kept it as you know, the K-pop spirit in in the Japanese releases. I like it. I really love their outfits. I love their outfits. I love the colour. Their lipstick's dark, kind of purpley. I love it. Absolutely love it. Living for it. I love this. And the. F I love, can I just say I love their energy and I love their chemistry between each other. It's just really good. I like the, I like this. I like this. I like this. A lot. Oh, 
the nails, bitch. I'm living for them nails, even though I'm not wearing them myself because I'm very <laughs> meticulous with my nails because I like it natural because they grow natural, like like a witch <laughs> uh, or like a vampire because that's how it does with my nails. I actually really enjoy that. Okay, let's do that. She looks so majestic with her robe. They really look really pretty. The, the fangs disappeared. They're so good. I love it. So talented. Yes. Flip your hair, girls. I love this. I'm in love. Hell yes. Let me just get this off. That was amazing. That was a show. That was the perfect musical theatre that I can think of. Wow, that was amazing. That was really good. It was dark, it was sexy, it was vampirish. It is what you expected. I really enjoyed it. I'll give that a 10 out of 10. Now, <clears throat> as much as I like this this group, I feel bad for them at the same time because for those who don't know, or for those who do know about the situation that is one and X1 are currently going on the file is because of the whole situation with Produce 101 because they both came from Produce 101 and this whole thing of the controversy what's happened to them was because of the vote rigging that some of these scumbag of producers decided to do and wasted not just wasted their talent now because now they're wasted now because they can't do anything about it and they're wasted also and destroyed half of the trainees trainees of wanting to become a K-pop idol and it's pretty sad because it's their dream to become an idol to well not just just become an idol because they're good looking but become an idol just become a professional artiste with, like most capable artists do in in the daily basis <sighs> I don't know people I know the K nets and some netizens I know that netizens not just like in Korea but everywhere because when I went after to the word netizens as everyone just to clarify that so I know that some netizens like in, in Korea and outside of Korea want this group want these two groups to disband but then again that is a waste why make them disband? It's not wanting to disband. I feel bad for them. It's not even their fault to begin with. They're not the ones that say, okay, you vote for that person, you vote for this person, everyone should vote for these person or us because we're the special ones or us because we've been in the game for far too long, yada, yada, yada. Or we came, we came from this XYZ company, so treat us better. It's not even about that. It's about the fact that this happened and it, they were pretty much unaware of that that was even happening. Because the whole thing of the show, if you look at it carefully, it's just like the X Factor. Any of the shows of you can you can think of, like, you know, from the X Factor, British Got Talent, Americans Got Talent, Pop Idol, um, Produce 101 and other groups, other programs the masked singers and this reality shows like you know for for certain companies for to to make a group 
it's hard. It's hard to explain how much this hurts, how much I feel bad for these members because it's not their fault. And I don't think they should disband. I think they're doing pretty well. You can see they're doing really well. This one is doing really well. This one was killing it last year. If, if people are so quick to say this band is banned, but why this band when you can see the chemistry? It was an amazing chemistry that they showed. And you gotta remember, this is the, the one group out of IOI, 101, and X1. I don't even, I can't really speak much of X1 because I only one song. That actually not only does Korean, but also does Japanese releases because they also are active in Korea as well as Japan because some of the members, again, some of the members are actually from the super uber group from Japan, AK48, and they decided, some of the members, to fly from Japan to Korea to take part of, to participate in Produce 101. And yeah, and so I know there's like two, three members that are actually in this in is one and yeah they're doing really well they even like new things like like dancing because I know that in Japan you either are a dancer or a singer it's one of those two you can't be both in Japan whereas in Korea for them it was like new because in Korea it's not only you're beautiful but also you have to know to sing and dance and rap some of them so those are the things that they will find it very new that they never seen before. So with that being said, <coughs> I just hope all of the best for is one and for X1. I don't think they should disband at all. I just think they could continue with their promotions. I mean, again, it's not their fault. This has nothing to do with the members. It's actually just the producers. I want netizens from all around the world to understand this is not the members fault. It's actually you need instead of going attacking the members and telling them to disband, go and complain about the, the producers because they are the responsible of the whole mess. This whole entire mess that they made is entirely on them. It has nothing to do with the, with the members. So with that being said, I just wanted to get that out. Just get, just clarify everything. Just people just to be more, you know, more conscious on being on the member's shoes, like is one or X one's shoes, the whole situation and how this all happened and how this got revealed. Because I, again, they, I bet they didn't even know what was going on because they're so busy with, you know, with dance classes, singing classes, rapping classes, acting classes, um, what other classes do they have? Because they, they do so many language classes for some of them because, let's face it, in every single reality shows that has participated for a, you know, to make a cable, new cable group, it all involves language classes, singing classes, acting classes, dancing classes, for some rapping class in Brussels, most likely some of them has to do composing classes, like compose a song, write a song. It's just, those are, that's, that's the lifestyle for a trainee. A trainee does not sit around and overhears every single conversation a CEO or the manager or their managers are doing between each other. They're only doing six things all day, every day. So, again, don't blame the members, go blame the producers. So with that said, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Go show some love with Is One. Go show some love for X1, because again, it's not their fault. It really is not not their fault. But with that being said, Annyeong everyone and Sarang Hale.